Yo, what up everybody? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Uh, you know, it's funny because this is something that I've been trying to talk about for like a week now, but I've been really, really, really busy and had a lot of other things going on. And then, you know, I did a couple of other lives, you know, so I hadn't had really an opportunity to get into this and really talk about this. But I thought that I'd drop a little bit of a free game for y'all. Give y'all something to think about. Just just something to think about because there's a lot of opportunities out there. And I think I, I think that people don't realize how many opportunities there are out there. Um you know, to start businesses, all types of different businesses and and actually make money and, and make good money and, and do it very smartly, actually. So, I, you know, I just wanted to come on and, and, and drop a little free game to y'all. So check this out. This is a hashtag get real woke discussion on starting a security camera installation business. OK, so. You know, I'm a bit of a nerd, right? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a nerd. I'm a, I'm a low-key nerd, right? So for me, right, I'm always researching things and checking out, like, different types of technologies out there and, and things like that because, you know me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a technology buff. I'm one of these kind of guys that always wants to have the latest and greatest technology situation, so I'm also always researching what the latest and greatest is. And so, you know, about a week ago, I... uh you know, about a week ago, I actually, um, I was researching security cameras. Um, I kind of wanted to see, you know, what was out on the market, if there are any new technological developments um, that are, you know, more more uh, advanced than what I already have in place, right? So I kind of, you know, was doing some research on that. And of course, you know, Google has an interesting algorithm, right? In that, you know, Google kind of archives everything you do, everything you search for, everything you look at. You know, if you're like me and you have like a lot of different digital assets out there, you know, Google aggregates all of those as well. Right. And so, of course, you know, me Googling security cameras and, and everything like that, this interesting thing pops up. And I'm going to share this with you guys because, you know, when I saw it, you know, it, it, I swear I wasn't even looking for this. I was just looking for the latest and greatest security cameras and this company pops up. And when this company popped up, you know, I started reading about them and reading into them a little bit. <laughs> and, you know, of course, you know, my business development brain comes on and I'm like, hey, you know, if, if I was, you know, wanting to start a business and doing security camera installation, how would I go about doing that? So it took me about 10 minutes to map it out in my head. So I kind of want to walk through, you know, kind of what I stumbled upon and, and, and you know, kind of break down my thought process on, on how I would go about starting a security camera installation business. Um, you know, and it might help somebody. Somebody might be thinking about doing something in the tech space or might have thought about doing some type of security camera installation business. And so I'm going to break it down for you. You know, how I how I mapped it out in my mind in, in, in a 10 minute thought. Right. So check this out. Right. So the first thing I did was. I found this company and. And I'm going to show you the company and what they have and all of that. And, and it, I'm telling you, this was just I was just looking for, you know, latest and greatest technology stuff in the security cameras industry. And I and this company pops up. Right. And the company here it is. It's um, Nelly Security and it's it's Nelly Security dot com. Right. Nelly Security dot com. And I found this company. And I found this website and I was scrolling through. Now, this isn't, this is the homepage to the website, but what popped up for me was not this. So this is not what got my juices flowing and what really got me interested. Um, and, 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 and caused me to do this video right here. So this is their homepage. And what they do is they sell security cameras, right? And they have the prices for the different types. They, well, they sell security cameras. They sell security camera recording equipment, all kinds of different things that you would need to kind of get a security system set up, you know, in a home or in a business, right? So this is their, their business model. But here's the interesting thing, right? What popped up for me is this, right? So the custom brand your security equipment. So here's the interesting thing about this company. What they do is, so basically they have a branding aspect where the, you can buy the security cameras from them and they'll actually brand it with your personal business logo. And so if you have a company set up and you know you wanted to brand a product for the security camera industry, this company will actually brand the product. They will actually sell you the product branded with your company's name on it. 
and they'll even give you your own SKU number. And the interesting thing about that is when you have your own SKU numbers, you know, a lot of times in, in retail based businesses, what they, what, what consumers like to do is price shop, right? So what they'll do is they'll run a SKU number for a specific security camera and they'll see, you know, if other people have that same security camera, what they're selling it at. And, you know, the cheapest price generally tends to win for the same model. But under this branding program with Nelly Security, not only do they give you the actual, um, not only do they brand it for you with your own logo, but they actually give you a unique SKU number. And so that unique SKU number, what it does for you is, if someone tries to run that SKU number as a way to try to like price shop your, your, your specific, uh, security, uh, camera software or hardware, um, they won't be able to do that. And so, you know, it'll just come back to your security camera, which is great. Now, here's the exciting thing about this, right? The exciting thing about this is what does it cost, right? Our, how much does the branding program cost? Our branding program is 100% free. The only requirement is that you need to be a registered dealer with us. There is no minimum buying requirement for this program and we offer it as a courtesy to all of our installers to gain that competitive edge. Premium branding is available as a separate service to both retail and dealer customers as an add-on and a small upcharge to applicable products. So here's the interesting thing, right? So here you have this company, right, that manufactures these security cameras or likely gets the security cameras out of China or somewhere like that. They're probably just, you know, wholesaling to you or selling at a retail price or whatever. But the interesting thing is what they're offering you. They're offering you a branding opportunity 100% for free with unique SKU numbers. And it's not just the cameras that they're branding. Because you know me, I'm, I'm one to do the due diligence and one to take a real look at a situation, right? They're not only giving you the SKU numbers and the branding of the actual hardware, but the software that people would use to actually, you know, like when you have security cameras, so, you know, you have software and you look at, you look at your cameras through that software. So, like, the screens that come up are all branded with your logo, with your brand identity, and this is 100% free, right? So I thought that was really, really cool, and I'm like, okay, this would be a great way for somebody to start a security camera installation business and have branded products underneath their business, right? So this is great. So then, you know, okay, of course, my juices get to flowing, and I'm like, okay, so if I was interested in something like this, how would I go about doing it? Okay, so check this out. So... So first of all, you know, of course, you need to incorporate, you need to set up an LLC, you probably need to do that, right? Now, you know, beyond that, you know, you have to, in some states, in some states require you to have a, a, a license to be able to do this, right? To be able to do what they call, you know, in the state of Georgia, and I'm going to use the state of Georgia as an example for this, this, uh, this, uh, this discussion, we'll call it a discussion, um, so the low voltage exam and reciprocity general alarm telecommunications, non-restricted, um, you know, so there's a license, that's what the license is called in, in the state of Georgia, right? So different states have different, different licensing requirements. Some require a license, some don't, right? So some states don't have licensing requirements for you to go out and install security cameras, but you know, while some states don't have it, that doesn't mean that some counties and states that don't require licensing don't require you to have a license. So one thing I would tell you up front, right, is to make sure that you check your state's rules and regulations for what the licensing requirements are for being able to install security cameras as, as a business, right? Now, but here's the interesting thing, right? I'm gonna, and you know, for those who catch this on YouTube, I'm actually gonna drop this link in YouTube because it's gonna be cl clickable, so it's gonna be in the description. But what I did for you guys was, I actually found a site, um, it's IPVM, so it's like IPVM.com, and what it does is it covers all the different state security licensing for, you know, security camera and closed circuit uh, uh, TV, uh, installations, uh, closed circuit television. So CCTV stands for closed circuit television, right? 
And so it has the different states and what the different state licensing requirements are. So this is a link that I'm going to drop for you guys uh, that end up seeing this on YouTube, right? It's going to be in the description for you guys. So you can go through and actually read your state's requirements and, and, and all of that for your licensing, right? So the cool thing is I actually took the state of Georgia and, and, and literally like I figured out that you could literally do this business for less than a thousand dollars. Like, I mean, it's crazy, right? You, you can do this for less than a thousand dollars. You probably do it less than five hundred dollars, right? By the time you consider incorporation, a website, all of that, you could probably do this for less than five hundred dollars, right? And so the first thing in the state of Georgia, what you would have to consider is the fact that you need that low voltage exam uh, and reciprocity general alarm telecommunication and non-restricted license, right? And so some of you guys are thinking, okay, so what is the cost to get that license, right? Okay, here's the interesting thing. To get that license, this is here. This is Georgia. Georgia State Construction Industry Licensing Board, right? So the low voltage exam and reciprocity general alarm te telecommunications and non-restricted is actually only $30. So it only costs you $30 to get this license. Now granted, you know, with that license, you know, you, you, the state requires that you have a year of experience doing this, right? So you have to have a year of experience doing uh, CCTV installations and there's an exam requirement, right? So, but the cost of the license itself is only $30. So you figure if it costs you $99.99 to incorporate in the state of Georgia plus $30, I mean, we're talking about $130 in, right, in your license, and you're able to, you know, have a security camera business. Now, you know, developing your website might cost you, you know, depending on where you do it at, it, it might cost you, you know, a couple hundred dollars, you know, with the domain and, you know, all of that initial setup, your server and all of that. So, I mean, where are we at here? We're at $300, $330 at this point, right? So, you know, for $330, you know, you've got a website, you've got, you know, a, a, a license, and you're able to install, you know, closed circuit television cameras uh, as a business. Now, you know, one of the things that you're probably thinking about is, okay, wait, 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 wait. So I understand that part. That's really exciting. But, you know, where am I going to get the cameras from? Okay, so, you know, I told you about Nelly Security, and I told you about, you know, their branding program, right? So that's 100% free. So you've got a branded product that you can push to your potential consumer base and you can do that for free, right? And that's great. But now you're probably thinking, well, wait, I got to actually buy the cameras to be able to sell the cameras. Well, so here's the thing about that, right? Here's the cool thing. So, you know, again, creative juice is flowing. I'm like, okay, if I wanted to do this at a low cost barrier to entry, how would I do that, right? So what I would do is, so first of all, I, I would generate some clients. And what would I use to do that? So I would probably get on Angie's list. And I'm going to tell you that I've got some experience with Angie's List. And so, you know, Angie's List, for the average business, it costs about $200 a month, right, based on the type of uh, uh, inquiries you're getting from consumers. And here's the exciting thing about Angie's List. So I actually have a client that actually, uh, and you may hear from him because I may ask him to come on live with me, um, maybe to tomorrow or the following day, and tell you guys about what I did for him and, and how well his business is doing. But I, I have a client who's actually a friend of mine who at, was funny enough actually in prison with me, right? We did time together. And, you know, this guy was someone who, you know, he was a, a drug offender. And he was, but I always liked him. He was a really cool guy. He was really down to earth, very, uh, very out of the way, didn't cause any problems. Just a really genuinely good guy who just, you know, made some mistakes. You know, it happens. People make mistakes in life. And, you know, so when he got out of prison, he decided that he wanted to start a landscaping business. And so I helped him start his landscaping business, taught him how to incorporate, helped him incorporate it, did his operating agreement for him. Um, you know, he started going out trying to bid contracts and things like that. I wrote his bid proposals, you know, gave him a, a, a bid proposal template that I wrote for him uh, to be able to go out and bid contracts. And last year, uh, so this last year was his second year. So this is his third year doing this now. Uh, you know, with my tutelage and my advice, I increased his customer base on over 100% just last year alone. And Kevin Williams right now is making somewhere around, oh, 35, 40 grand a month now. And the funny thing is he's actually, like he could be making a lot more. He's actually turning down more business than he's actually taking because he doesn't have the capacity to be able to service all the customer requests that he's getting. And so, you know, he's at the growth stage now. So it's time for a fleet lease, you know, a fleet gas card. He's got great credit, you know. 
um, all of that. So that's the next step for him. And, you know, uh, government contracting is also going to be another step for him. So, you know, I'm going to help him with his SBA 8A certification, minority business enterprise certification, et cetera, et cetera. So he can start bidding, uh, state and municipal government contracts. Right. And, um, so that's the next step for him. But, um, I'll likely bring him on live at some point in the future, um, in the near future, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe the following day. I don't know. I got to talk to him, see how his schedule looks. But, um, and he can tell you all about his business and, and, and all of that. But the point is, the point I'm sharing this with you is he, he did this on Angie's list. Like, so we, so he, he got on Angie's list and, you know, a lot of his customers, you know, now granted some of this comes from, you know, commercial buildings and everything. He does power washing. He does, uh, uh, lawn care, he does tree cutting, you know, and he's got, you know, he's employing people now, like, and it's great, because what he did was, this was a guy that, like, literally, like, he was a drug offender, and he turned his whole life around, he never has to look over his shoulder again, and, you know, I think that's the greatest thing, and he's employing and giving opportunities to people who have, you know, uh, checkered backgrounds, you know, that have had hard times as well, that have made mistakes as well, and so, you know, you have a, 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 a felon providing economic opportunity and economic empowerment to other felons. And that's a beautiful thing. Here's the exciting thing about it. Because I like him so much and because he's such a good guy and I saw his work ethic and dedication um, over some years, I actually consult him for free. I don't charge him a dime. Now, mind you, this guy's making like 35, 40 grand a month now. I still don't charge him a dime. I don't charge him anything. But he'll tell you all about that, though. Um, I do a hashtag for the free because I believed in him. And I believed in what he was doing and I liked him as a person and I liked his work ethic and his discipline and his dedication. And I'm so glad I invested the time, effort and resources into him because it's literally changed his life. And that's what this is about. But anyway, the, the point of sharing the story is, you know, he's on um, he's on Angie's list. His company's on Angie's list and he gets a lot of uh, residential customers right through Angie's list. And he's doing extremely well. So Angie's list is a great investment. Um, if you're trying to attack consumer customers in like a uh, manual service business, such as lawn care or, you know, security cameras, which is what we're talking, security camera installation, which we're talking about right now, you know, it may cost you $200 a month, you know, but it's a worthy investment. It's a, Angie's List is a worthy investment for these type of businesses, right? So I highly recommend Angie's List to generate customers, right? So, so there's that. Now, so what I would do is, you know, back to security camera installation business, you know, what I would do is... I would literally get on Angie's list and I would set up on Angie's list. This is what I would do if I was if I was trying to start this business uh, uh, at a low cost barrier to entry. And what I would do is I would let the customers reach out to me and I would quote them a price. And if they decided that they would agree. So before I did that, before I jumped on Angie's list. So what I would do before I jumped on Angie's list is I would work out with Nelly's security, right? I would figure out how long, if I place an order today, how long will it take you to have those security cameras in my office or at my home if this is a home-based business, right? How long would it take the security cameras that I buy right from you, how long would it take for those security cameras to get to me, right? And of course, they're going to quote you a timeline. So let's say it's a, they say it takes five days from the time you put an order in to the time it's delivered to your house from door to door. It's five days. OK, so now I jump on Angie's list because I know that it's going to take five days for my security cameras to come in. So let's say I get an interested customer on Angie's list that wants to go with my service, right? My service offering. So what I would do then is I would schedule that installation for 10 days from now. I would order my security cameras. Now, wait, remember. The customer, if they're if they're a customer, then not only are you selling them security camera, you're not going to sell it at cost. You're going to put a little bit of a markup on it. It may be twenty, thirty dollars, right? You're going to require them to pay the security camera up front. They have to buy the security cameras and get them installed, right? But then remember, you're going to charge them an installation fee as well. So when someone goes out to their house to install the security cameras, there's an installation fee for that. That might be $100, $199. It could be $100, $200, something like that, right? They're going to pay 50% of that up front. So they pay for the cost of the security camera plus 50% of the cost of the installation. Now you have the money to go out and buy the security cameras that you know are going to be there in five days and you don't even have to go out and do the installation for 10. Welcome to dropshipping in the United States. Now, look at that. You started a whole business. You got branding and everything 100% for free, right? You started your business for roughly, let's call it $300. And you don't even, you've got branded products out there. And you don't even have to pay for the cameras. You just have to wait for the orders to come in and buy the cameras as the orders come in, just as long as you maintain your installation schedules. Now, here's the interesting thing, right? Let's say you don't have any experience in camera installation, right? 
And you're like, this is a great idea. I really like this and I really want to do this, but I don't know how to install security cameras. So here's where it gets interesting. Do you know? Here, here, here's the fun part. Do you know that you could actually like hire independent contractors, people that have experience doing security cameras installations? Guess why? So now when you when you sign when you hire these independent contractors, right? What you're gonna do is pay them a commission. For every installation you do, if you're charging two hundred dollars for an installation, you may pay them sixty dollars for every installation they do. Sixty dollars. So if they're doing five installations, right, a day, and they're working six days a week, well, they're making something like seventy two grand a year. How much money are you making? You're making over a hundred grand, hundred and eighty years. I think I calculated it out at about a hundred and eighty two grand. Somewhere around in there. You're not even leaving your house. You've got independent contractors doing this. Think about that a second. That's big. And so the requirements for independent contractors would be, of course, you know, you don't want to hire sex offenders. So you got to, you know, run backgrounds on them, right? To make sure they're not registered sex offenders. Because, you know, you don't want to run into a situation where you have a registered sex offender running somebody's house doing an installation or a rapist. You know, a rapist, child molester, anything like that, running into somebody's house and then something goes left, you're liable for that, right? Because it's your independent contractor. So you want to make, run background checks. And one of the requirements is that they have the requisite licensing to be able to do installations. So now the person that's actually doing the installation, which is an independent contractor, is properly licensed with the state to be able to do it. And they're working for you for commission. So they're installing your branded product. They are making a cut of the installation fee, the installation fee only. They're not making a cut of the camera money. They're only making a cut of the installation fee. And now you've got people working out there for commission, right? Servicing your customers. You built an entire business. You provided economic opportunity uh, for people that have licensing that may have had a hard time finding a job because of COVID, right? And you literally could run this business from your house. You could get your, your security cameras to your house. Your independent contractors would pull up to your garage if you got a garage. They could come pick up their equipment, take the equipment to the property, install, the, install collect the other 50% of the installation money. And see, that's the thing because they'll have point of sale systems on them. So they have like a square card reader with them or whatever, something like that. And so when it's time to pay the other 50%, you know, the customer is just going to slide their card. It's going to go right to the company. And so you might pay your, your installers weekly. You might pay them bi-weekly. You see what I'm saying? You, you're paying them. So you've developed an entire business here, right, for little to nothing. Just a little thought, a little ingenuity. You see what I'm saying? These are the types of opportunities that are available for people out there. If you just, just have a little, just think about it a little differently. You know what I mean? You just got to think about it a little differently. It's amazing what's possible. It's amazing what's, what technology makes pos possible and, you know, partnerships with different types of vendors and, and companies can, can open the doors to for you. So I just showed you another low cost barrier way to enter into having your own business. You know, I figured this is, you know, may help somebody because at the end of the day, hey, listen, a lot of people getting that PUA money, you know, they just passed that, uh, that uh, stimulus bill. So, you know, you got some stimulus money coming. You got more and they're going to extend the PUA. You got more PUA money coming. Listen, this is a great opportunity for you to really start a business and really do something for yourself. So, you know what I mean? Like, I hope this helps somebody. I hope somebody learns something from this. And I hope this encourages you to go out if you ever thought about doing something like this and actually taking the steps to do it. Sometimes, you know, we have the courage to want to do so. Or we have the thought to want to do something. We have the idea to want to do something, but we really don't know how to get started, right? And so, you know, part of what I do is help you think about how to get started, all right? So, you know, of course, as always, you know, we hashtag get real woke around here. And, you know, when I come on live, it's always hashtag for the free. So, yeah, I hope that um, I hope this benefited y'all. You know, as I always say, feel free to like, subscribe, follow, share this information with anybody that you think can benefit. Because the more people that get access to this information, right, the more people that will be able to benefit and begin to achieve and accomplish the goals and aspirations that they have in their own lives. All right. So, you know, I holla at y'all. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Deuces.